is up, everybody? Hope y'all are doing good. Welcome to the first look at the Captain Sim 767-302. I think is I I think this is considered their two, uh, the Captain Two product. Um, I'll be honest, Captain Sim is where I got my first ever paywire aircraft back in the day. I stumbled upon it. They were having this huge sale where everything was like ten dollars. Picked up the fifty seven C one thirty triple seven. Um, B-52, I think, and a couple other things, and I ran my 777 for a long time. For $10, it was a heck of a deal. It's still a really decent product, and recently, Captain Sim's really been pushing the envelope into more of the higher quality uh, Sim aircraft. With their 757, uh, which I have for FSX, I don't have for P3D, but I really like it. Um... So I'm really excited to see what the 67 holds. So it's in a beta, came out today. Um, I'm kind of sad because as you can see, it has the um, 6 plus 2 configuration, which means 6 doors plus the uh, 2 smaller doors. I'm really looking forward to, and they have confirmed that we will see the uh, 4 plus 4, which is that door and that door and then 2 overwing exits. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, some of the views they did a really good job so the textures are in 4k um and the cockpit looks really nice so i'm gonna say this from the little bit i have seen which is the about two minutes that i have had this launch before i start recording i like this it looks good um let's take a look at how it handles here let's go to a better view um, it looks nice. Let's go ahead and put the flaps down. Kind of see how that looks. Um, you even got the tail strike thingamabob name. I don't know. Um, there was some talk about having a, um, multiple engines. They also did mention, I think we will see winglets. And a lot of people on the forums have talked about seeing the 67 400ER. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I'm really excited to see, mostly because this is the only 67 payware that I have seen that's not like merging a exterior model with the 57 cockpit for P3D V4. And they did say uh, V5 will be coming. I'm super excited. Um, I'll put a link to this the store down below. I uh, full disclosure, I did buy this. They're running a sale where it's about 99 bucks as opposed to uh, I think 130, 140. Um, and I went ahead and picked it up. I've been looking forward to this. I was like, screw it. I don't care if there's no liveries. I'm going to fly this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the, or unmute the sound so we can kind of hear and see what it sounds like. Okay. So let's give the engine just a little bit of, okay. Sounds good. Forgot to turn on the parking brake. Oh, what is that? Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Sounds. Not bad. I would like to see a little work could be done to smoothen them out, make them a little more realistic. Um, also comes with a um, editor for the, the their Ace Advanced Configurator Editor, I think, or something, Configuration Editor. Um, after we do a test flight, I will... Uh, do a quick little uh, clip on it back, kind of showing that off. Um, I like it. Cockpit looks really nice. Um, I was really kind of worried. Their 57 cockpit wasn't the best looking out there, especially the FMCs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and program a very, very quick little flight. Um, so let's go to index and uh, route. And we're just going to do... So, okay. So that's one thing I forgot I disliked about Captain Sim um, is you can't like type stuff in so I, I can't use my keyboard so that makes manually programming routes a little more um, tiresome the other uh, yeah, yeah if I could speak sorry about that the uh, upside is they do release something called their wireless CDU which pretty much means you can get an app for I think iPhone Android and iPads to configure the um, CDU from your phone, which I guess is kind of cool. And uh, uh, so activate perf. Um, so oh, requests. 
Okay, so we're going to be pretty heavy. Um, fuel 160, that's fine. I don't want to change it right now. Cruise altitude, we'll just do 4,000. I just want to take it for a quick little loop around. Uh, take off one right, we'll turn right, and then... Uh, so, we'll come and land on one right. So, and uh, Okay, then arrival. Uh, let's, uh, here, we'll just do... Uh, arrival... Let's just do one way. One way. Actually, no. We'll we'll do ILS. I want to see how that works. So root, activate. Okay. So oh, not pretty. Um, nothing in the world. So big difference is uh, the controls for the uh, display is up here. So let's go ahead and delete some of this, like take off the vectors. That should kind of pretty that up a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and delete the hold because if we're having to hold on this video, then I'm just going to restart the video. Okay, so, so we take off and 7,000, but we're just going to do 4,000 and 4,000. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at how it looks with the flaps down. That looks very, very nice. I like it. So we'll go ahead and raise flaps, and let's just get a quick test flight going. Uh, we're at flaps 10, 15. So I have never... I take it back. I had the Captain Sim 7.6 back in FSX, and it just never seemed to want to work. So I didn't really get many hours in it. And you know, I figured 10 bucks, it wasn't a huge loss. So we'll do, I guess, flaps 15... Um, I didn't see any uh, data on this, whether um, uh, separate or added in. So I'm guessing because it is a beta, that means we will see. Uh, sorry for that sound thing cutting out. Um, I think we will probably see it come on later. Um, the lights look really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and release parking brake. Oh, uh. We lowered this down to 4,000. And what's our takeoff speed? 156. So we'll just stay at 186 for our speed today. Okay. And let's listen. I'm, I'm really interested to see how the engines sound. And sorry for the little just jump cut. Had to deal with a little issue with P3D. So let's go ahead and I need to adjust our trim a little bit. So I think that's good. We need to make sure our TCAS is on, which I'm thinking is right there. Okay, so um, quick thing, like I said, no real manual, so I'm kind of just flying this by guesstimation and my limited experience with the 7.5. So let's go ahead. And we have 186 and 4,000 put in there. So we got that stabilizer warning, and unfortunately, um, I really don't know how to fix it. Uh, I will look into it in the future. I really want to see how this performs from the outer view. That's what I'm con uh, very, like, really curious about. It sounds beautiful. looks just beautiful right now. Turn the nose are down a little bit. Let's go check out the cockpit view again. So we'll go ahead and turn on the autopilot and auto throttle with L nav and a V nav. I guess it's taking us left. Kind of curious, but I'm, I'm letting it fly. I'm not going to try and correct it. I'm, I just want to really see how it flies. And of course, this is a very weird pattern, so that could. Okay, so getting a little error there. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll give it direct to Collins.
There we go. What is this flashing? Inner airways, altitude alert. Okay, there we go, went away. Um, I really can't wait to kind of see, let me take this away, sorry about that. I'm really interested to see a lot of the documentation. Captain Sim, I will say, has always had really decent documentation. So that's something I'm kind of excited to see. Now, I guess if you've probably flown the 7.5 a lot, then this is not gonna be much of a change. Uh, for you, I mean, it's pretty much a 7.5 minus the you know, larger cockpit, a little bit wider. Um, still, she handles beautifully and she's not killing the frames, which is uh, which is a big deal. And she sounds and she looks good. So I, I'm really happy so far. To be honest, I was kind of worried. Um, I, I saw a lot of back and forth kind of expecting, why are we going so fast? What the heck? 306, okay, well that could be it. And we'll slow her down for a second. Um, I'll be honest, Captain Sim, I'm always, I'm always concerned because they are trying to break into the more, um, uh, higher level quality uh, flight sim that their pricing, especially being the only 7.6 game in town, I, I was really worried because um, they're, they're pricing around PMDG and so they have a lot to live up to with this and so far they are, however um, we, we need to see. PMDG is like really good with updates as well as um, making sure we have a lot of liveries when you uh, start off. Um, there's always a, at least three liveries, I think, for almost everything, even with their NGXU, where they had um, those oddball, like the 737-900, where I think two airlines use that, the 900 as opposed to the 900ER. Um, so I'm really hoping there's a very simple way to download um, new liveries. Um, this is the only one I was able to find right now, and, you know, it just got released today, so that's kind of okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the... So, we have... Ooh, economy passengers. Okay, that's kind of cool. In the business class cabin. I think this this resembles Delta. I think this is a very Delta... Bi yeah, this is definitely a uh, Delta business class. Not a very pretty business class, just in general. It looks fine for the model, though. Left wing tip. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, left engine. I'm, I'm enjoying these uh, different views. Left wing view. I, I like this. This is personally one of my favorite views. Um, just there's something cool about sitting right behind the wing. Uh, landing gear. Not bad. Uh, tail. Now that's one thing I don't like. Uh, I don't get that really. I, I would know this is cool. Perfect. Uh, personally, I enjoy there being some like set view from like this angle, like top, kind of top down. It's just a good view. So let's go ahead and um, wrong button intercept here okay let's window heat okay so we need to turn on our window heat let's heat up the windows um, I'm very happy so far this is a very beautiful cockpit uh, like I said before that's definitely one of my worries I have a lot of worries with this but so far it's it's living up pretty it's living up to the expectations so let's go ahead and calculate our arrival or approach speed. So 157. Like I said, don't really know how to compare this um, to other 67s. I was late to the party when I really decided to consider getting that um, level D76. I went ahead and actually swapped over to the 
uh, P3D platform, and with that, yeah, when I swapped over, it was around the B4 time, and so Level D just had no uh, support for that. So unfortunately, I've kind of had to wait, and you know, every week at least, if not every couple of days, I'd always check to see, uh, you know, news about 767s for P3D V4, and then this came out of nowhere. But it's really, it's living up to the hype. Uh, pretty decent cockpit. I, I really, I think I'm going to do a stream on this tonight. I have finals. I was supposed to take an econ final in 20 minutes, and I was like, I saw this. I was like, okay, I'm going to do a recording, then go study some more, then do econ. So uh, I've been really excited for this. So let's see, do we need to descend and head down to 3,000? Let's go ahead and send her down to 3,000. And we'll slow down to 230 knots. The sounds are pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it, um, it sounds. And she's handled smoothly. And I even upped my graphics because I really wanted to like push this to the limit to kind of see how it would affect my FPS, and I'm getting probably around 40 FPS, and I have it on, um, I'm running a 20 ATI, and I have it pretty much borderline maxed out across the board, so that's, I, I like that, um, let's see, let me take a look at something, so desk, and then Mosby, we need to hit Mosby at 3000, and then wax, let's go ahead and slow her down, so 206 by Mosby, Anytime I hear Mosby, I, I love flying into Dulles. It's an uh, airport I've flown into a lot in real life. And uh, I fly into it a lot in a uh, flight sim whenever there's some event, whenever there's decent ATC at Dulles. I love going to Dulles. And uh, yeah, this <laughs> every time I do this approach and I see Mosby, I just I think back to uh, Mr. Mosby screaming. So let's go ahead and. Why did our auto throttle kick off? That was very, that's strange. That's weird, why is it kicking off? I might have hit a button, but I don't know. That's, that's weird. I don't know if that was some little bug. I'm just doing this just to pretty up the entire thing for us. So we're pretty much straight in. 3,000 by desk and uh, yeah. Go ahead. We're, we're a little slow on the approach. So we'll go up to 220. We're not really having to do this perfectly. This is just to kind of give us a feel for how it uh, handles. Um, I think I I might take it off ILS to be honest, and we might uh, hand fly this for landing just to see. ILS is fun, and if it works, awesome. But yeah, I think we're actually gonna do that. I think we're gonna swap and hand fly it, which means we did this long, probably extra 10 minutes of flying for nothing. But it's good, it gives us a chance to kind of just enjoy it. Um, beautiful, let's see if there's any small features. Can we, okay, kind of sad. I, I like that the, um... oh, we can do it there, but we can't do it oh, we can and I think it just crashed my p3d oh yep I would suggest not doing that okay well I'll catch you all back in a second and welcome back we are currently on a long final in to Dulles I uh, went ahead and just uh, kind of put us out here and so we already have our flaps down and our gear down uh, she is handling really nice. I, I'm enjoying uh, hand flying her. Although, uh, let me trim her out a little bit. Give her a little. There we go. So we're idle. Go give her a little draw now. So we're back coming into one right. Uh, our landing speed's around 158. Um, although I'm keeping her around, go try and keep around one. 65 to 160 just to be safe and 
and uh, you know, I, I haven't noticed any drops in frames at all while we're doing this, which is very, very good. I'm enjoying this. I'm loving it. She's responding to everything, like I, you know, small things here, there, uh, a little high. You need to focus on uh, flying and not on uh, enjoying just how pretty the 7.6 is. Oh, and we're low. Definitely not my best approach, uh, but normally also I have a little bit of more of a established kind of way in. Yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Um, this one I just, I, I put us 2,000, or about uh, 2,000 feet, and as close as I could get to uh, having us lined up. So let me see, what's our speed? We're at, what, what are we at now? I think, uh, oh, 180, that's a little, a little fast. So. Which is no biggie, I'm, you know, I can, um, it's only giving me that warning because of, uh, I haven't plugged in one right as our landing, uh, runway, but no biggie. Just handling like a dream right now. Super, super smooth, even on a approach speed. A little bit of a cross when having to fight. Sounds amazing. Go. Reversers are full. Okay, um, we'll bring it to a stop right here. Well, there we go. Um, it's not the best review. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I, I really like her. Uh, she's good. I'm ready to kind of see what they can do. Um, I think right now, ultimately, I would say if you have the money, buy it. Um, but... You know, the the main issue is you're buying a lot of promises. You're buying the promise that they will add the winglets and the 4 plus 4 configuration and that understand that right now there's no other liveries that I know of. Of course, it's been out for an hour or two, so we should get more than just this. I would, I, I'm, I'm not disappointed, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm happy. I'm still a little skeptical. We'll see how it goes, but... Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, catch up back in a second with the uh, configurator. And so here you are with the Ace. Um, the pretty much what allows you to uh, do configurations. So, as, oh, we do have, there is one uh, livery out right now. And it does have winglets. Although, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can change. So we can change winglets. That is good. So I was wrong on that, um, and you can you have the engines of Pratt Whitney forty sixties. Uh, LL intensity, I guess I'm guessing that's lights and uh, virtual cockpit windows reflections. Um, so there's a lot you can change. Um, optional equipment, so you can kind of change what's on top. Uh, depending on some airlines have certain things for like Wi-Fi and stuff. This is very cool. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. This is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, download this. Oh, uh, this is a lot easier than uh, some of their other liveries. I remember some of them wasn't that easy to get your hands on. Um, uh, okay. So, winglets, yes. Save. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's one last thing. Um, vehicle select seven six seven. It might we might have to update, and if we do, then we'll just end it here. Oh nope, it did update. Let's take a look. So uh, apparently, this is the only thing they have. Um, otherwise. Oh wow, and she looks. Uh, she is a beauty. Wow, she looks really nice. Now, if I'm correct, Austrian actually does operate the uh, 
four four by four, which is four over wing exits and four regular doors, which I'm guessing right now we'll probably see a lot of liveries where it's the wrong version of the sixty seven with the uh uh you know version of the sixty seven with the aircraft livery, which I'm fine with. You know, I'll take a U nine and American uh Delta operates this one, but uh they're liveries and a different type. It's not that big of a thing for me. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Check them out. Um, and until next time, have a good one. Goodbye.